Hi guys and welcome to another YouTube video. Today I'm going to be playing Evolution Masters, which is a new kind of RPG based game which is to do with Pokemon. So I've actually played this game a bit just to get some like knowledge of the game so I know what to do. I kinda can kind of show you everything because I've actually unlocked a lot of stuff. So this guy actually does show you um what you can do and when you unlock it, it gives you rewards which is quite useful yes there's a lot of stuff to upgrade until you reach level 85 which is i don't know how far away so there's lots of different summonings that you can do to get various items which are helpful for the game Claim this. So I'm just gonna go into campaign. I've already, I've already got to five dot two. Got seventeen thousand total line up power, which is pretty good. Um, and then you actually have auto, or you can activate it yourself and choose what skills. They do. I, I just use your auto because it's quicker. Or if you want to like really ex experience like all the skills for each of the different Pokemon, then you can. I've got times three battle speed as well, which you unlock at level 20, uh, which is quite early on. And if I just go to the main page now, I'll put yeah, so I, I'm not stuck on campaign at the moment, which is good. Um, S Pokemon. I would say once you get it, focus it. At the moment, I'm focusing on my Magneton to just really level it up. You can use skill points to upgrade some of the skills. You just get them over time. Then you can actually train their stages. So this is stage one. There's 11 stages, maybe. So I'll just train it. Okay, so somehow it's speed reduced. But overall, it gets better over time. Okay. Um, there's other things like trinkets which you can upgrade, which are just little bonuses and stuff to increase your power. Okay, so I've got that all to level 20. Yeah, okay, so that's all level 20. Wow, I haven't even started on the, these. Fair enough. My upgrading. So yeah, you can see it's like upgrading and stuff like that. Defense the hero the HP that it has. So I'm gonna equip it. That also will boost it. Okay, so I'm gonna boost the. Don't really know what that does. Oh, when you level up, it increases HP. And... Wow, you can actually reach level 500 friendship level. Wow, that is a lot. Okay, so there is a force of Pokedex, which shows all the ones you've unlocked. So, the game does have S, S being the best, which there's only three actually. Which is Mega Rayquaza, Primal Groudon, and Primal uh, Hoika. Uh, but they've they've got like all of them here. They've got like U two. Um, fifty percent for. Yeah, and then I think it's that. Oh, I don't. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, it's just. So when you evolve it, you get uh, okay. Um, yeah, so it's got all the different forms. Oh, that's another thing I haven't even showed. Uh, if you go to the Pokemon, you, you can inherit, which is just from other Pokemon if they have really good stuff, or you can evolve. You need certain requirements, so this requires play Pokemon level 36, which is basically player level 36, because the player level is the max. And I need to break him through to rare plus one. Currently, I've broken him through to rare. But if you see, I need all of these to get him rare plus one. 
I, I need that. I can get that from the store, which you can blitz. Um, is that a plus one one? Okay, no, it's just the normal ones. Um, six or six is the first time you can get them. Uh, so it basically tells me I need to get to six or six if I want to get it better. And you can also upgrade the max. Plus 10, to be honest, I should probably max this out right now, to be honest. Actually, it's getting expensive. I'll leave it at 200 for now, but obviously that is useful. Lisa on, I don't have that many. As you can see, it says they're all new. Um, okay, I'll just, there are, like, these chests that spawn on the campaign. Once you've unlocked them, they give some decent rewards. So that's really useful. It does give you, um, actually, yeah, yeah starts off Charmander, but you can get it to Charmeleon, which is basically the starter one, which he uses to show you the tutorial. There is, there is like, many games, like Carnival for the first days of playing. You can see I'm on, like, day three. Didn't play much my other days, but they just give you some rewards to help you out, like these blueprints, the trinkets, and... Some shards of some S heroes. Get some more stamina. 15, that is really good. Start for getting, getting levels, okay. That is good. Does that loss? Okay. So, Ghastly is one of... That is very useful. Okay. Um, Ghastly... Is one of the ones you might want to focus as well early game because it's an S and you get some shards, which means you can level up the star level of it. So that is quite useful. And anyway, I'm just going to go into another campaign. This game does, of course, have servers like a lot of games, but even if you're not on the same server, you can still battle people through stuff like, I think, I can't remember what it's called, but it's basically like arenas for every single server. And then there is also an arena, which you unlocked earlier on, which I have unlocked um, just for your server, so yeah, there's... Basically, a lot is like crossover arenas, PvP arenas, and some stuff that I haven't unlocked yet, but I'm sure it will show you a tutorial when you get there. Oh, <laughs> skip to like the best people. 300. So these guys have 400,000 uh, combat power per lineup. They're the best in my server at the moment. To me, that seems pretty good. I'm gonna see. Can I see his profile? Details. No, that's just okay. He's VIP eleven, VIP twelve, VIP six. That's actually low enough for and VIP twelve. Wow. <laughs> so yeah, of course. I mean, it is pay to win, but you can certainly, from my experience in these types of games, get quite far from just playing it normally and being consistent. So you can actually skip the battle, which is actually very handy, because it's like, if I know I'm going to win. Not really, okay. My rank is 6k. Why can't I battle them? <laughs> so yeah, there's actually like, you can basically see your record for highest position, and see how you improve, which over time is good. I don't know why that's saying it's not ready, but move on to doing some more campaign. What's this? What's this? Um, yes. I'm getting rewards, but I don't, don't really know what I'm doing. Okay, there's this. Send out four Pokemon. Sure. Spat. Successful. Oh, it takes time to complete. 
I'm confused. Okay. I think that's maybe one of the events or something. Not oh, first purchase. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll just skip a break because I haven't really changed anything in terms of my lineup. So yeah, campaign, although it may seem like early on, you will need to spend a lot of time like maxing out campaign. After you've played for a couple of days, it will die down a bit, which means you don't have to spend as much time and you can focus on some of the other stuff you unlock so it can get like a lot to do in the first two days but if you enjoy that that's great but if you don't have as much time then fear not the game won't stay that much forever it's fine I'll play this chest I think they're every two stages but I'm not sure so I'm getting some common weapons. There is also a hard campaign. To be honest, I haven't really started. But you can get some good drops like the trinket blueprints. Okay. I think was it 5.780 beats? So that I can blitz it. Well that's another thing. If you want to get the rewards from the stage, you can just blitz it. Easily without having to just go through this fight thing again. I'm not sure yet if you have to three star the stage though. I presume you do, but. Couldn't tell you to be honest. I'm actually really close to level 28. Yeah, they also have, like, you can catch the Pokemon, a bit like Pokemon Go, and just, like, get them their B tier and stuff, but I presume we'll be able to, like, sacrifice them later or something, and get some more power. Also, this game is in development, and it's only in early access at the moment, which does mean if you join a server, you'll probably be really good at it uh, in relation to other players that start after you, uh, which is always good. Uh, and it does also mean that the game might have a couple bugs, but to be honest, haven't noticed any so far. That's how they've locked to 28. Get another one of these chests. See, it just gives you like coins and stones, and I think to be honest, that's the most. But, like, it's the best thing that you get from it. To be honest, I don't really know what I, my lineup is as it is, and why they're positioned that way. But the game does have an auto lineup function, which I just used. Don't know if it's any good, but I'm winning, so. Yeah, the times three does really, like, whiz past all these screens they have. Okay, so that's the stage. That doesn't drop. <laughs> um, just need to check some things. <laughs> Let's go for loads of this, which I'm basically massively. Okay. Boosting it up. Oh, we'll get that level 30. Okay. So you can blitz this one here. It does use stamina. It tells you what you got and in the top right there. And what I re require. So, blitz. So I got one. I still need one. Do it again. Got one and I have what I need. Oh, I need to. <laughs> need to. Do this, you know, might as well blitz this one three times. Sweep, I can only do it twice. Could it also change it to two and it doesn't go? Oh, it's failed. 
Yeah, you got that to rare as well. Level up. Nice. That is really good. That is really helpful. Okay. I don't know what it's telling me to do for this guy. Because it's called like an indicator or something like that. Yay. <laughs> I'm gonna actually level this guy up a bit. Quick level up. Used to, that is useful, that is useful. So I'll get level 28. Oh, that is very useful, actually. I'm gonna do that for all of them. This peak tree is quite low, to be honest. Quick level up. I'll do like 20 again, because after all, it isn't an S one like other ones, like this guy here. Just kind of did that quickly. Yeah, you can see my I focus my mic on this like five thousand. The others are a lot lower. Whoa, what's that? What's that? I just saw. Oh, S plus. This is really expensive though. Preview. Uh, S plus is 1.25%. That's quite high because that's 12.5%. So one, so one in eight for every ten pulls you do. So after 80 pulls, you'd expect to get that. That's pretty good actually, because that means you get a solid amount of S's as well. Okay. Um. I mean, I know there's one after. All of these. It's like increases attack by one percent. Flying types. Poison types. This one's all fighting type attacks. That's good. Quests. Get that. Might as well. I've almost got a hundred actually. So yeah, there's certainly a lot of things that you can unlock. And if you know what you're doing, you can definitely get very powerful very fast. In this game. So what did what level did they actually need for this? Oh six nine. Oh it's quite a way away to be honest. Okay. This guy. Blitz wait who even is okay, it's this wait, yeah. This is a bit like one that goes from Gla ghastly to horn so very useful. So yeah, I definitely wanna upgrade this. So some, it's kind of weird, don't know why I just closed. Because sometimes you get two, sometimes you get one, sometimes you get zero. But from your sweeping. But that's common to, gives me a decent amount of power. Extra. I should just do it again, because it requires ten. Oh, I think this is what I did with my, um, my, yeah, my magneton, which app. Time was Magnum White. So I presume you can only uh, evolve them three times. But, you know. Just don't want to run out of stamina. How much do I have? 151. I think that's enough. Mind you, if I, do, if I get like this sweep zero a couple times, that might not be. Get some so rare. Nice. Yeah, so these two both launched off in power a lot. Star levels. You can give it to 12 stars. Mine's currently 3 stars, but basically requires that exact Pokemon. Which obviously means it is easier to get a Pokemon higher in terms of the star level. There is a world boss. Um, sure, I'll just get 20k power now. Let's go. Well, to get chests similar, like, similar to other games like AFK Arena, I just got like a chest system for how much damage do you do? Oh, 
you can skip it. That's definitely good. 28k damage. Items obtained. Okay. To be honest, that wasn't that great, but maybe that's because I don't really have that great of stuff. You can do the best. They haven't. They have both <laughs> PS bosses already. <laughs> Jeez. Wait, was it his bosses? So wait, wait, was it? No, wait. They have S pluses. They don't have SSs yet. That means they must be pretty hard to get, to be honest, because they kind of paid more. Oh, these are like daily packs and stuff. Yeah. Okay, so I think that is the base game. There is, of course, a lot more that I haven't unlocked, but I'm going to do some campaign. And if you want another video, make sure to like and subscribe, and bye-bye.